I grew up in Terre Haute, Indiana. It's my birthplace. It was a wonderful experience growing up. I grew up in a family of engineers. My father was an engineer, a graduate of Rose Polytechnic Institute, now known as Rose Holman. He encouraged me to go into math and science. I went on to college, and I did enroll in an engineering curriculum to begin with at Purdue, and I found myself a little overwhelmed. I was the only female in the class of about 500 male engineers, and thought, oh my gosh. And again, this is when I was very young. So I transferred to Indiana State University and applied for a mathematics major. From that, I then graduated and became a um, programmer at a small corporation called Systems Technology, and it was a computer service bureau, still in Terre Haute. And from that, I was introduced to some medical clinics. And that's when I thought, this is some really interesting work. That's what propelled me to get into nursing. It was during the summertime, I was looking around where I may go to school, and Deaconess School of Nursing popped up on the list, and now we're talking about very, very last minute, because the classes had already been filled. I was very fortunate that they allowed me to come in, sort of as a, okay, we'll take you, we have an extra spot, we'll see how this goes. And I graduated from the Deaconess School of Nursing. I was again fortunate that they took a risk on me, and offered me a position as a nurse analyst in a management engineering department. We don't even have those kind of things anymore. It's now performance improvement. But I was a nurse that looked at how nursing functions and looked at the emphasis on quality and looked at the emphasis on efficiency at the time. From that, the rest is history. In 1980, Linda moved to Chicago to join Central DuPage Hospital as a director of nursing. After a short time in Chicago, she realized that Evansville and Deaconess were home. She returned to Deaconess in 1982 to be Director of Medical Surgical Nursing. In 1985, Linda joined the Senior Administrative Staff, where she has served as Vice President of Nursing, Chief Operating Officer, and most recently as President and CEO. I was approached to become the President of Deaconess Hospital about 13, 14 years ago. And when I was approached, one of the first things I asked, because this came out of the blue, I mean, I was not prepared for this assignment at all, or this opportunity, I should say. And I asked Tom Kramer, and I asked Dr. Michael Hoover, who was the chairman of the board at the time, are you sure I'm going to be accepted? This hospital has never had a female in a lead role like this. They both reassured me that I would be accepted. They both reassured me that that would not hold me back. And with my upbringing, and with my dad over my shoulder, who would tell me, go for it, I said, I accept. Never, ever, ever thinking that being a female would be a deterrent to this position. The best way that I can explain Deaconess Health System is this. It is uh, the result of six hospitals coming together. It's the Deaconess Main Campus. It's Deaconess Gateway Hospital. It is the Heart Hospital on the Gateway Campus. It's the Women's Hospital on the Gateway Campus. It's Deaconess Cross Point, which are, is our mental health hospital. And it's Health South Deaconess Rehabilitation Hospital. Linda is a real people person, and she's a CEO who just doesn't talk the talk. She walks the walk, literally. We are all about people. I want to connect with the people who make a difference in the lives of the people that we touch. So by rounding, by finding out a little bit about them, knowing that they are people with lives outside Deaconess, that's really the human touch. They do so much for every one of us. I want to make sure that they are recognized. I can't touch everybody, but boy, if I could reach out with all, all the tentacles in the world, I would touch each one of our employees and say thank you. In today's environment, this is what I would tell young people, and it's a series of things. I would tell them to chase their dreams. Don't let anything deter you from chasing those dreams. Also, take advantage of every single opportunity given to you. And I'm a product of that, because if I had sat back and just said, no, I can't do it, I would not have had the opportunity that I've had today to touch a lot of lives. 
I would also tell a young person, don't let anything hold you back. Don't let anything under this sun hold you back. Go for it.